Uh, that's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Just a quick video in India, I'm sure you guys have been hearing this hijab debate and all this madness going on. Now rather than dealing with the crux of the issue which is that the right wing guys have suddenly lost the plot. Just to appease them, the government is not allowing Muslim women with hijab to enter schools. They're not allowing them to receive a basic human right. But many Muslims are protesting the ban. It violates the right to express religious belief and the right to an education without discrimination. And this is the only reason, just to appease their far right vote base. But rather than dealing with this issue head on, look what the newspapers are plopping out. That's the, that's the best word frankly. Yeah. Oh hijab is uh, not obligatory according to this uh, random guy. Wait a minute, who are you? And then of course you got Arnab Goswami which is like uh, Fox News of India. Now let me uh, make out, make out, you know, make one point absolutely clear to you. So think of him as the Tucker Carlson of India. Is the hijab an essential religious practice? Uh, yes, yes it is. Essential does not mean optional. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, essential does not make it a matter of choice. Well, according to Indian law, you can't walk around topless. Well, for that matter, you can't walk around bottomless completely and start swinging your genitals in people's faces. Nor can you randomly decide to cross a set of red lights. Why don't you make a case of choice there? Well, because it's the law. This man-made law that you guys have agreed upon is allegedly good for you and good for the society. Well, in that same vein, hijab is Islamic law. God has decided that it's good for us and for society. If some hardline Muslims say, no, no, the hijab is absolutely necessary and obligatory for all Muslim women to wear. A Muslim woman not wearing the hijab will be questioned for her religious beliefs. Well, in that case, the Indians who say that you guys need to cover up your, you know, your bosoms, they should be called uh, hardliners as well, because they're also obligating that you have to cover up. It's, you don't have a choice about it, including the government officials, including the police force, all of these guys, you've got to call them all hardliners. No, you're not going to do that? Well, you obligate the covering of the private parts, we just extend it further. Your reason is society and culture which changes, our reason is divine law which doesn't. Here we see British women covering their hair in the 1900s. Here you see your very Prime Minister meeting with the Singapore President in 2018. Tell Modi to call her a hardliner. And here he is with the wife of the Turkish President. Why doesn't he call her a hardliner? Because he knows he's gonna get an Ottoman slap. There are more Muslims in Indonesia, more Muslim women in Indonesia than in any other country in the world. Indonesia actually completely bans, bans compulsory hijab for school girls. What does this mean? This means obviously that they don't consider it to be an essential religious practice. Wait a minute! There's two main assumptions being made here. The first being that Indonesia is a completely Sharia compliant country and it's not. Secondly, because they are a majority, they are an authority and that's incorrect. Yeah, you take the uh, smallest Christian country, in fact the smallest country full stop, yeah, it's the Vatican City which is the head of Catholicism. But then if you look at the majority Christian country, that's the United States of America. Are we going to use the United States of America as a yardstick for Christianity? What a stupid question that is. And also you need to consider that there could be a number of reasons. And there are, and the main one being that if you're a prepubescent girl, hijab is not obligatory for you. Should we be religion first or nation first? I say, and I have always said, it should only be nation first. And are you the same guy that said this? Because Yogi has said in Amethi that Garf se kaho hum Hindu hai. 
Yes, he said. Garf se kaho am Hindu hai aur say with pride that we are Hindu. At the most, it is of Hindu pride and there is nothing wrong at all if Yogi says it. Cut the shot! Hashtag hijab yes or no. In a democracy, we can all have our views on this. It's a fact that hijab is mandatory and this is based upon the textual evidence in Islam. Full stop. Having an opinion is fine but it doesn't mean that you can change the facts. For example, I can have the opinion that Hinduism and polytheism aren't compatible but that's like the essence of the faith. I can hold that opinion but it doesn't mean that it's a credible opinion. Let's fight the hypocrisy. All of our brothers and sisters in India, may Allah make it easy for you. Our prayers, our du'as and our thoughts are with you. Ignore people like this, can't take them seriously. <laughs> His mouth is flawed, everything about this guy is flawed. Now deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, let's leave it down. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum.